Good morning, all my people. Looks like a beautiful day here in Toronto. I think I will be doing raking dirt for somebody today. Anyways, this video is going to be called A Taurus. A smoke ring is not a Taurus. That's what the video is going to be called. So you see smoke rings, and smoke rings are really cool, and they've got an awesome video someplace of like this giant drum where you take like an oil drum and you put a rubber membrane on the back <clears throat> and then you poke a smallish hole on the front end or a some kind of hole on the front end and then you bang on the back, you fill it with smoke and then you bang on the back and it shoots out these awesome smoke rings, which is super cool. And smoke rings are especially cool in that, oh, hmm, hints of neutrino actually, now that I think about it, let's say you made a, you know, here's your drum, and do do do, hole, rubber membrane at the back, you fill it with smoke, bang it here, shoots out here, psh, right? And if it's a circle, you end up getting a smoke ring. And, uh, but of course, the coolest things is when you make it not a circle because the circles are so symmetrical that you really can't tell what's going on. Like a circle has no way of showing you what's happening because it's too symmetrical. So instead, you put in a dopey shape like this. And this will end up doing this like weird oscillation thing the same way that fluid does when you pour fluid out of a spout that's like flat and it does this like twisting back and forth thing. Right, because this comes out and this is going sort of like that way at an angle. This one's coming this way at an angle, so they meet there, but then they spread out. And as they're contracting, they sort of make this like, you know, oscillation waveform. Anyway, so when you're making a smoke ring, you know, you see what you see looks like a torus, right? There's a smoke ring. Duh. Mm, black sucks. There we go. Right, smoke ring. We shot out our smoke ring on this in this video. Ooh, there we go. So we shot out here. This causes this moves this way. Fluid dynamics causes low pressure Bernoulli down this way, which because things are connected, creates entrainment, great word. So basically this stuff is drawn in and you start to get one of these field diagram type things. Voodoo. So it goes this way, right? But a it is not a toroid. A toroid is like so symmetrical. A toroid has no direction, right? It could be this way or that way. This, it is almost a sphere, except that it's plain, right? But a smoke ring has a direction. Therefore, it's got actually uh, another restraint on the axis. And instead, it's my favorite shape. It's just that you can't see it. Humans see the ring. But what is also going on is because this went in like this, right? But it runs into this dead air that's essentially still. So when it bumps into it, it starts to separate, which becomes expansion at the front side. Same as a photon, negative charge. Divergence at the front end. These are coiling outwards, right? By coiling outwards, it creates low pressure here which sucks this forward. This is like so almost wave equation. It's like it sucks this into the gap that's missing, but by doing that is also being propelled at the back because of the vorticity. It's being propelled forward at the back by rolling in, and this is a high density zone. Low density zone, high density zone. See, cardioid really hidden within the torus of the smoke ring. Because lopsided universe. 
right? This is event horizon. This is the void of decay where there's expansion, gravity, catastrophe, transport, quantum tunneling, if you wish, however you want to describe it. I just say it falls through the membrane of space-time, of time itself. But this is why a smoke ring is toroidal shaped. But remember, what is really going on is more like this in terms of pressure gradients and flows. And interesting, this is very, could be seen, as I said, very much like a photon. Like, I don't think per photons are particulate. You'd have to take this, stretch it out till it's an entire, like this is just a section of a membrane of a sphere. But let's say a photon is an infinite number of these, somehow, you know, on the surface of these. And then when it hits, this is exactly what happens. This goes like this, this, the positive part flows right through, joins into the atom, and the electron part is left on the outside because electrons are divergent and positive charge is convergent. So, yes. Cute picture, right? Peace.